Here is a beautiful aquarium of fish. What would be the probability of pulling out first a yellow and black fish and second a blue and black fish? Hmm, let's take a look at this. First, we have to list out all the types of fish. There are four that we can say are black and white. There are four that are blue and black. There are five yellow. There are three that are tan and blue. There's three goldfish. And there's one that is all tan. So when we add that all up, the total number of fish in the tank is 20 fish. So whatever probabilities we calculate is going to be out of 20. Now, we first want to take out a blue and a black fish. So we're going to use this number here. And we have the probability of pulling out 4 out of 20. Then we want to take out a yellow fish. And we're going to multiply this because it's a compound probability and we are going to do five and one fish is already taken out the blue and black one so it's out of 19 and when we multiply those together we have 20 out of 380 now 20 out of 380 that can be simplified and we can have two out of 38, which simplifies again to 1 out of 19. This is the probability of the compound event. What was the compound event? The compound event was the two events of drawing fish out of the aquarium. First we wanted to draw out a blue and black fish. Then we wanted to draw out a yellow fish. This was the compound event. And the compound event the probability of this compound event being successful is 1 out of 19. Here's our aquarium once again. Now let's look at the probability of taking out a tan and blue fish and then a blue and black fish. Once again remember that we have 20 fish total and first we're going to take out a tan and blue fish. There were three tan and blue fish, so we have a chances of taking three out of 20. Now because this is a compound event, we're going to multiply. The next thing we want to pull out is a blue and black fish, and there are four of those. But we already took out one fish, so we have 19 fish left. Now we can multiply. Three times four is 12. 20 times 19 is 380. We can simplify this by dividing both of these by 4. And we end up with 3 out of 95. Now that might be a little tricky to understand as a, as a probability because that's such a strange fraction, 3 out of 95. So we can convert it to a percent. Let's divide 95 into 3. And when we do that, we get 0 0.0315789. Let's just use the first two digits of the decimal. 0 0.03, which converts to 3%. There's a 3% chance of this compound event being successful.